Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Zawa, The Belly of the Beast, number one. This is a new book from Boombox over at Boom Studios. This is written, lettered, and with art by Michael Delanis. Uh, so let's talk about what's going on in this issue. In this new series, trapped inside our mountain by pollution spewing factories, the guardian spirit Zawa only has industrial waste to eat leading her to a bitter existence of paranoia and destruction. But when two siblings from a nearby village help her escape, they'll quickly learn that the way to calm Zawa's heart is, is uh, through a well-nourished stomach. Uh, Glad Award and Eisner-nominated cartoonist Michael Dialinas, uh, who has done things like Wind and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, crafts a charmingly macabre echo fable about nature, greed, and the dangers of retribution and good food shared among friends. Uh, yeah, what a what a really so. Leading up to this, I had seen a lot of like a lot of hype online about this issue, uh, and I think it's very well earned. Uh, I really enjoyed the simple story. I think also the way that it's being unfolded. Um, it is just so well paced. It is just a really interesting world that we're looking at. It has some beautiful art to go alongside of that. So I quite enjoy this uh, this issue. Uh, I really can't wait. I, I really enjoy uh, Michael's work on Wind as well. That's another series. You, you might even be able to see it up on my wall. I have a cover there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really glad to see a new book. Uh, I really enjoy it when a creator has full, full control of their narrative and the story that they're trying to tell in a book like this. Also, it takes an immense talent to put a full book together like this. So quite enjoy this one. So let's take a look at some of the preview art here. As we see this introduction to the world, we get to see a little bit of, uh, this is a bit of a, a memory or a, a flashback, if you will, before our story really kicks off. Uh, I think one of the things I appreciate is just very interesting color palette to kind of reflect this pollution filled world. But also when it comes to the food, there's some really interesting and very delicious looking stuff. Uh, we also get to see a little bit of Zawa here as as we get into this world. And, and you know, depending on what um, Zawa is eating, that kind of changes the look, right? I think you'll see some different looks in the variant covers as well. Uh, and I'm just really interested as to why this individual is the main person that was doing, you know, that was coming in here with food, what the relationship with Zawa was back then and then also how that will play out for the siblings in our pressing line storyline uh so really cool stuff also just look at this really cool world like mrs boone is such a really interesting looking town uh i love the bright colors very much uh i i appreciate the little world building in the, within even just the um the little details in the art like this banner of the mayor provides the little burger place the pasta in the background so obviously food is very important for this place obviously uh this this is a, a place where uh things hold value uh and, and but also you can see all the little the factories and everything in the background so like this is a really interesting juxtaposition of things so um once we get to meet our, our main characters as well that we'll be following throughout the story, I think it's really fun. It's it's definitely uh, feels very young adult oriented, uh, but it's very interesting story nonetheless. Uh, and like I said, beautiful art. It all really kind of comes together in this first issue. Um, I will say the pacing of this, I feel like it's going to, for me at least, is going to be better uh, maybe as a collection, but I'll be definitely picking up these individual issues because the covers are amazing you can see some of the covers at the end of the video as well so yeah i quite quite enjoy this i highly recommend you pick this up uh this first issue up check it out uh because i think stories like these are so different from some of the things that are on the on you know just in the comics atmosphere uh that it's well worth checking out uh, to expand kind of your horizons but yeah such a well-crafted book i really enjoyed it so if you have read this issue, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. 
Of course, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.